What's up people, good day, good morning, good evening. So today's daily verses are Matthew 6, 31 to 33. Today I'm reading from the KJV, otherwise known as the King James Version. And it reads, Therefore, take no thought, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or wherewithal shall we be clothed? For after all these things do the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly Father knoweth that ye have need of all these things. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added to you. So let's think about what's, what's it saying. One minute. So, what is it saying? It's saying, Therefore take no thought, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or wherewithal shall we be clothed? Now, basically what it's saying is, don't worry about the things in life you don't need to worry about. Like the things like, how, how am I going to feed myself? How am I going to clothe myself in the future? How am I going to provide for my family, provide for myself and provide a better life for myself and know my loved ones, for those around me? How am I going to push forward my ministry? How am I going to provide for this thing or save money for that thing or save for this thing? Because currently, we're in this economic climate where where things are, things are taking a downturn, at least where I'm from in the UK, our economy is going down. So now it's becoming harder and harder to save. The prices of, uh, of energy costs is going up. So now the average person has less and less money. And it's very unlikely nowadays that many people are gonna have like a large amount of savings for the future to buy that, buy that business, to buy a house, to buy these things, or to save to have a family in the future. It's just not happening for people in this current climate. But but what the scripture is saying here, and I, and I know the rest of the world is even worse, you know, but what the scripture is saying here is, it's saying, don't worry about the future. Don't worry about these things or put yourself in a situation where you're constantly worried, ne thinking negative. Because it says, for all these things did a Gentile seek for your heavenly father knoweth that you have need of all these. So your heavenly father, Lord Jah, Jehovah, Jehovah Jireh, the Lord who provides, he knows that we need these things. And if we keep our focus on him, we keep our faith in him, we keep praying, we keep meditating, we keep declaring and prophesying over our life, these things are gonna, the things that we need, they're gonna manifest in our lives in a way that God intends them to. It may not manifest how we want them, but it will manifest how we need it and how God needs us to be provided. So think about it like this, like, God is not gonna watch us suffer and do nothing. He's gonna start bringing us opportunities, start opening doors for us. We gotta step out in faith, Start sowing positive seeds and start stepping through these doors God is providing. And God can open the door. He can bring people into our lives that can make a difference, that can bring us out of poverty, that can bring us out of depression, that can bring us out of anxiety, out of ill health. Or we got to take the steps to make it happen as, as well ourselves. we got to start stepping towards the things God has promised. We don't just sit there and wait, wait for God to bring it to us. No, we got to make, make our move and go towards where God wants us to go. All right? And, and look, our Heavenly Father, He know what we need. It says, we know if that ye have need of all these things. So He knows what we need. He's, he's going to provide, but He needs us to step towards Him and not worry. Don't, don't fill yourself with negative thought patterns. Replace these negative thought patterns with more positive thought patterns. Because when, when you think more positively, you receive a more positive outcome because you bring more positive people into your life. Uh, a positive person is not going to be, not going to want to be around a negative person. So if God can bring you more positive faith-filled influences into your life or you're just going to sit there being negative being down being angry all these kind of things that person's going to run yeah are they not in the world do people not run away from negative people in your experience as in mine they do so be more positive and you're going to bring about more positive outcomes in your life all right but seek ye first the kingdom of god and his righteousness and all things shall be added unto you so what God wants you to do is to put him first in your heart. So put him first in your life. So what does that mean? That means putting him first. That means waking up and saying, God, I'm going to put you first in my life. I'm going to seek first your kingdom. I'm not going to seek my kingdom. I'm not going to seek the world's kingdom. I'm not going to seek this kingdom or that kingdom. I'm going to seek your kingdom, Lord, because your kingdom is what I want and all I need in life to be sustained. I need to go out and say, God, I may put... I may have in the past have put these things above me in my heart, but today I'm saying no more. I'm putting you first, I'm putting your kingdom first, and I'm going to look to serve you above all things. Because often at times, 
when we hit a point where we have, you know, lack, lack in some area of our lives, that's because we're not putting God first in that area. Wherever we receive lack, we're not putting God first in that area of our lives. So we need to we need to decide today to put God first in this area, in that area, in every area of our lives, so we can receive His blessing and protection in our lives, and so that we can see Him open doors and bring opportunities and people into our life. We can make a difference to our future, you know. And it says, and His righteousness. So we've got to follow what He says is righteous, what He says is good. It doesn't matter what the world thinks is good or what we think is good. It's about what God says is good. And how do we know what God says is good? We know what he says is good through the word, through his word, through the word of God. It teaches us all things, but we have to trust in him and understand that his word is good, you know? So his righteousness, not our righteousness. Our righteousness is but filthy rags in comparison to his, you know? We, what we say is good is, is often evil, is often incorrect. So we have to follow his way for our life, not our own. And all these things shall be added to you. So when we follow him, when we put him first, and when we choose to walk in the path he has for us, all our needs are going to be met. We don't have to worry about anything because he will provide for us. He is Jehovah Jireh, the God who, provund who sorry, abundantly provides. But we have to trust in him. We can't just trust in the world or trust in ourselves or rely on our own power, wisdom and strength and expect to get by it. No, because we're limited and God is unlimited. We have to rely on him and then he will guide our paths so we may overcome every challenge we face, okay? So it's part of trusting him, put him first and understand, let's not worry about these things as the unbelievers do, but instead, remember that God's gonna provide for us if we keep trusting and believing in him. Have a great day today, in Jesus' name, amen.